This is Trace HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our monthly Tarot card reading. This will be for the month of August, and this will be for the sign of Libra. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message to me that I need to share with our viewers for the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, we'll take the top card. For the middle of the month, I'll pull a card from the middle. And for the end of the month, we'll take the bottom card. Okay, so let's see what we have in store for you, Libra, for the month of August. When I look at these cards, what I'm getting from Spirit is, first of all, this card is the Judgment card. And this is an angel blowing her horn. And there's small angels down here on the bottom. And she's looking upward. Okay, and the Judgment card, okay, is a very serious card. Okay, this is a card where those that are gu guilty will be figured out. How could I say? Th those people that are guilty, those people that are unjust, are going to be called out on what they're doing in the beginning of the month. Now, this may be you. Maybe you're doing something that's not so nice, okay, and you're guilty of some of these things, or this could be people you know, that are in your life in the beginning of the month where they're doing things to you that are not so nice. And, you know, those that are guilty of this will be called out on it. Okay, and they will be judged for it. Uh, see how the rest of these cards line up with this judgment card in the beginning of the month. See what this is about. Okay, we have the middle of the month. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and the Seven of Pentacles. Serious, serious look on that angel's face. Okay, and the Pentacles are things that you work hard for. Uh, these are not things that are easily attained. These are things that you've put the blood, sweat, and tears into in order to achieve. It's your achievements. And what this is saying here is to be protective. Because something that you've worked so hard for Libra may easily slip through your hands in the middle of the month. So be on guard for that. Okay. Only you know what it is that needs to be protected in your life at this time. But it's something that you've put a lot of time and effort into. A lot of hard work. Something that you've achieved on your own without taking any shortcuts. It's something that you earned. Something you deserved because of all of the hard work and dedication that you've put into it. So in the beginning of the month, somebody's doing something not so nice, but they're going to be caught. They're going to be judged. They're going to be found guilty of whatever they're doing. But make sure that you protect whatever it is in the middle of the month because it could easily slip through your hands if you're not careful of who this is in the beginning of the month. So in the middle of the month, be very, very cautious. Be very, very guarded. Be very protective of what you have. And then at the end of the month, we have the Five of Cups, and it's a reversed card. This is what it looks like upright. And here's the Five Cups on the bottom. Five, five of Cups. Cups are very emotional. Okay? And uh, this card being upside down, okay, normally it's a card of someone, you know, who's feeling lost if it was upright. But... You're not feeling too much at a, a loss. If it, if it was upright like this, I'd be saying you're crying over spilt milk. You're, you're feeling that something didn't turn out quite the way you planned. You're emotionally distraught. You don't even want to deal with it anymore. You just want to run and hide. You're frustrated. You're disgusted. But with it being upside down, that's a good sign because it means you're not frustrated. You're not feeling, you know, like all is lost. I would say that you're feeling more appreciative, more grateful for what you do have, and you're going to protect it in the middle of the month. So this way, at the end of the month, you're happy for what you have. Whoever tried to do something in the beginning of the month that wasn't right, they're going to be figured out. They're going to be found out. They're going to be exposed. You're going to protect yourself and everything that you have that you've worked so hard for in the middle of the month. And at the end of the month, you're going to be grateful for whatever you have. So it's a good thing this card wasn't upright, because if it was upright, 
it would be totally opposite of that. Okay. But if it's upside down, you're being grateful. You're being happy. Okay. You're maybe feeling more love. You're maybe feeling more financially stable, more content. So you're not feeling lonely. You're not feeling lost. The end of the month has you feeling satisfied, firmer grounding, more in control of your emotions. And that's a good way to end the month. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.